Welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I am making beef bulgogi, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I do not speak Korean, but I do enjoy the cuisine. I already started the rice because it takes forever. I love the zulji rushi, but you have to be patient. I have two products to review tonight. One is the Bundle Pro Dual Tip Cooking Tweezers, and I'm oddly excited about these because I've seen other people use them, and I've been kind of jealous. And it's new knife day. I have the 8-inch chef's knife from Besterisa. It is fine German stainless steel. Now I have to admit that I've already tried this knife. Beef bulgogi must marinate overnight. So I used this knife to cut up the beef. I put a ribeye steak in the freezer for 30 minutes, and then I pulled it out and used this knife to cut it into thin slices. And it did an excellent job. However, I have found that a knife that is good for meat isn't always a knife that's good for vegetables. So I'm also going to cut this onion today. The best Teresa knife comes in this lovely presentation box, and it includes this finger guard. I'm not sure if I'll be using this tonight, but I think it's interesting. And as a bonus device, I got this from Timu. You plunge it into the onion, and then you can cut it safely and evenly. I thought I'd give it a try. First, I have to take off the outer layers, of course. Well, that was quick and easy. All right, I've never used this before. I don't know the correct method. I'm just going to give it a shot and see what happens. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just going to insert the knife between the prongs and give it a slice. I already see there's going to be a problem because if the onion is wider than the device, you're going to have a thicker chunk on the end, but uh, that's what we have to work with. Now at this point, I, I think I could, well, obviously I've got some stuff hanging off the sides here. This already fell off. But at this point, I think I could turn the onion and, and dice it. But I don't want diced onion for this dish. So I am just going to cut off the waste end here. And this is mostly done. Think. Yeah, okay, I like it. And you're you're going to end up with a cup shaped onion. And yeah, for another dish I might be concerned about this. For this particular dish, I think it's okay. Uh, however, yeah, I think I'll I'll cut it in strips anyway. just to be more like the rest of it. And then on the end, there is a another cup shaped piece. So that's it. Um, is this, is this a life changing device? No, uh, but it, it was safe and it's, I don't think it's really consistent. So it was safe, and that's about it. I don't mind it. Uh, I don't think it's a, an essential kitchen gadget. The beef is ready to cook, but I'm going to hold off until the rice is done. I just want it to be hot at the same time. So we'll be right back. I just realized I've been recording without the microphone. So let me catch you up. The rice is done. I have the beef on the cooktop here. And I cut up some green onion for garnish. I'm not getting the sear that I thought I would. However, I think the beef is done. I don't want to overcook it. 
I'm going to take this off. Um, it was never going to be authentic anyway, right? So I don't want to ruin what I've got. The oil has reached its smoke point, so I'm going to put the onions into the oil. At this point, I just want the onions to have a little color. I don't want them raw. I don't want them floppy. I just want them to be browned. I am going to turn the heat up. I don't know if I'm supposed to. We'll give it a try. The idea is to serve this on a sizzling platter. I don't have a sizzling platter. I figured a cast iron skillet would be close enough. I do like the Bundle Pro cooking tongs. They give me far greater control than these things. And they're just fun to use. I do like the Best Teresa 8 inch chef's knife. It has a beautiful blade and the handle is well fitted. It did excellent with beef, onion, and green onion. I'm pleased to add this to my kitchen. The last step is just to get all the beef on top of the onions and serve it. So far it looks good. As you can tell, it is sizzling. I'm going to, I'm going to garnish this with green onion, uh, get some white rice on plates, and it's ready to serve. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.